hello and welcome everybody uh, this is soham and in today's video uh, we'll cover the topic of temporal defense learning which is also called as a td for short and reinforcement learning you have uh, algorithms like td0 td lambda but uh, today in this video we'll stick towards td0 and uh, we'll try to understand what exactly is temporal defense and how is it a subset of Q-learning and why do people say that uh, TD exploits the Markovian property in general? So um, to give you an example or basis, uh, temporal defense learning is a key algorithm in reinforcement learning uh, that combines elements uh, of both Monte Carlo methods, which is it learns from actual rewards and dynamic programming, where which uses bootstrapping. So the TD learning update rule is used to iteratively adjust other value estimates based on the observed rewards and the estimated future values and uh, before we head into the uh, code and the visualization i want you to look at this particular graph uh, this particular gif that uh, i have quoted uh, and in this video i'll tell you uh, how did i do that and what's the example and the principle behind uh, this particular thing so uh, let's we are uh, talking about scenario and initializations first uh, about the state space before we get into uh, the actual coding part and actual the, uh, the actual update rule of td0 uh, it is important that you understand the state space before uh, we head into it so uh, this is the state space a b c d e all of these states uh, represented in a circle are your non terminal states so that means uh, you can take actions if you are in state A, B, C, D, or E. That means uh, you can either go left or right, and you will have value estimates of these particular states, uh, which will be initialized to zero before you uh, start your experiment or start your episodes. These square states are also called as terminal states. And if you end up in these states, your reward uh, will be the reward mentioned on these particular arrows and the value estimate of these states would be zero because you cannot move anywhere or you cannot take any action when you reach these particular states. So terminal states usually in RL are uh, uh, represented with a value state of the value estimate of zero and these particular non-terminal states uh, have some amount of value estimate uh, which gets updated using this particular rule or any particular rule in your reinforcement learning. So uh, in this, the arrow represents the action that you can take from this particular state. Uh, so if you're on A and your agent is on A, uh, the agent can take either left or right. And by doing both the actions, the agent gets a uh, reward of zero. It's only if your agent is on state E and the agent takes a right action uh, the agent gets a reward of one. So you start from C, you can either go left or right. And depending uh, on the situation or depending on the state and the action taken, you get a corresponding reward. So in Python, uh, we represent all the states as A, B, C, D, E. Uh, you can also mention T1 and T2 as the terminal states, but uh, for simplicity purposes, I have not mentioned that here. Uh, number of states would be the length of the states array, which will be one, two, three, four, five. And we'll will have a array called as uh, the uh, array called as capital V, which shows the value estimates of all the states. So we'll initialize every value estimate to zero because uh, in the start of the experiment, the agent knows nothing about the environment. It's when it starts exploring and uh, going left and right and actually taking some actions, it learns about the rewards that it is getting along the way, and then we are estimating the value estimates of each particular state. So initially, uh, we'll uh, put it as NP dot zeros so that we'll get a one, two, three, four, five sized array, and each one of them will have a zero in it. So this is also called as alpha, which is your learning rate. Uh, and alpha we have set as zero point one. Uh, this is where the alpha is used. I'll come to that. Uh, the number of episodes is the number of episodes that you want to learn and that you want your agent to perform. Uh, your episode is ended when you reach a terminal state, either a left terminal state or the right terminal state. So uh, the agent keeps on hopping, 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 hopping according to the actions and the rewards it gets. And in some particular state, uh, in some particular action, if it takes, it reaches either this part or it reaches either this part. 
and this is where we call the episode has ended so we'll do this for 10000 times so the agent has a lot of time to learn about the state space and the actions it should take uh, at each particular state so that it gets a uh, reward maximization we also include uh, gamma as our discount factor which is represented here so the general uh, td0 rule or the temporal difference zero rule uh, looks something like this so you have vst vst is updated with vst plus alpha times rt plus 1 plus gamma times vst plus 1 minus vst so what you're actually doing is you're updating the value of vst which is your value of a state uh, towards the estimated return as rt plus 1 plus gamma vst plus 1 so what you're actually doing is your vst would be updated by this its current value which is vst plus some alpha times let's say some learning that you are doing like you do in gradient descent that you update your weight parameter by going against the gradient you try to minimize something here we are trying to maximize so we'll do plus some alpha times which are learning rate times your instantaneous reward that you are getting so if you go from d to e the instantaneous reward that you are getting is zero uh if you go from e to the terminal state the instantaneous reward that you are getting is 1 so let's say if you are on e uh which is your vst or vse the value of e would, would be 0 for your first uh, uh episode so if you go from e to the terminal state uh it would be 0 plus 0.1 times 1 which is your initial instantaneous reward plus gamma times which is your discount factor Uh, which discounts how much do you want to look into the future so gamma times vst plus 1 which is the vst which is the next state's value and since it's a terminal state the value of this state would be 0 so it would be 1 plus gamma times 0 minus vst is the current estimate of e which is 0 itself so the vst will be updated as 0.1 so in the first episode uh, if the agent manages to reach this particular part the vst would be updated as 0.1 because it's 1 and everything else here is 0 so vst of vse the uh, value state uh, the value of state e would be 0.1 that's because that's the learning rate and if you do this uh, 10000 times what would happen is you'll get approximately the correct value estimates of each particular state that you have here and when you start from c so let's go on to the next uh, page and here i have uh, declared the running loop which is a run episode uh, whatever i just spoke i have just coded that here uh, and if we look into this uh, i think the things will be more clear so we declare this global v which is your value state array uh, and we since we start from the middle which is c so uh, you have your current state is equal to number of states uh divided by 2 this is uh, this is not divided by actual this is to round off that you get actually see uh so you will run the loop while true uh the action would be minus 1 if let's say the action is minus 1 which is let's say left i've denoted left by minus 1 and right by plus 1 so if the action is minus 1 and uh if, if uh, sorry so if uh, the uh, np dot random dot random let's say uh Let's you toss a coin. If it comes to be head, you'll take action left. If it comes to be uh, tail, you'll take action right. So uh, how do we represent that into Python? Is we'll just say np dot random dot rand. Uh, this particular function always takes a random value between zero and one. And if the value is less than zero point five, what we could do is we can say it's heads, and then we can take action left. if the value is greater than 0.5 what we could do is it we would assume this as a tail and then action plus 1 which is uh, right so if np dot random dot rand is less than 0.5 we would go left and if the uh, random numbers come to be greater than 0.5 we'll take the action right uh, so this is basically uh, just to show that uh, we are taking rand uh, ra actions randomly either left or right Uh, depending on the coin toss or random probability so at each particular state it is equally likely that you either go left or either go right so your next state would be your current state plus action so let's say your current state is c 
and if you get 0.75 as np.random.rand you will end up reaching d because c plus 1 is d so this is your next state is equal to current state plus action and the reward that you're getting is zero because the reward that you're getting is zero if uh, you're moving right from uh, e to terminal state so uh, inside this particular condition itself we'll say if the current state is equal to n states minus one and the action is equal to equal to one that means if your current state is e and the action is one which is sorry which is to the right what you would do is your reward would be one because your reward is one and the v of current state will be updated using this particular rule which is alpha into reward minus v of current state which is alpha into reward plus v of current state so you must be asking me uh, why have we not included this part or where is this particular part so if you are on state e your current state would be current state current state plus alpha times reward minus v current state so uh, this particular part is missing which is the v of st plus one but uh, do you remember what i just said which is if you are reaching a terminal state the v of st plus one is this and since uh, all of these two values are initialized to zero and there will be zero always because they are to terminal states uh, your gamma vst plus one will uh, will be zero if you are going right from e or if you are going left from a so in both these particular actions your this particular term will not be there it will always be zero so i have not written that here uh, you have the next condition which is if you are moving left from a which is at index zero so you are moving left from a it's a similar update rule where you do v of current state plus is equal to so v of current state is equal to v of current state plus alpha times reward minus v current state so this is the exact same equation since you are going from a non-terminal state to a terminal state so this is the reward that you have here you can also read the comments that i have written so that uh, it is better understood uh, 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 let's let's go to the next elif which is your normal condition which is if you are next state is between zero or n states which says let's say you're on b or you're on d or you're on c so you'll use this exact rule so uh, your v of current state plus is equal to so v of your current state is equal to v of your current state plus alpha into reward plus gamma times v of next state because your next state would be either e either c either a uh, minus v of current state so this particular equation is exactly this particular equation if you are able to see that and your current state would be equal to the next state because your, when you when you took the action your current state has become your next state and if the next state would be out of bounds just break the loop without updating so this is the run episode uh, run episode function that we would run for over 10000 episodes to see uh, what exactly are the value estimates that we are getting so let's look at the results that we have here uh, so at the top we are looking at the true probabilities or true values uh, it is important to understand why these values are 1 by 6 2 by 6 3 by 6 4 by 6 and 5 by 6 uh, because these are not probabilities of going right these are the long term probabilities or the estimated value of the particular state so when you say 1 by 6 this particular state a has probability of long term of reaching this state uh, and the estimated value of this state is 1 by 6 so by this i mean let's say you take around like 6 steps from a starting from a that means one out of those 6 times you have a potential of reaching this terminal state and getting a reward of one that's why when you are here your estimated reward for this state is one by six so this is these are the true values of the states so as you go on and go on going right what you see the expected rewards increase start increasing so for a it's one by six for b is two by six for c in the middle it's three by six for D it's 4 by 6 and for E it's 5 by 6 because it's just on the left side of the terminal state. So 
the dotted line here represents the true values which i've already set and with this particular episodes that we run in our uh, python script what we observe that after certain episodes thousand uh, you see that this are estimated values using temporal difference learning are almost similar to the actual true values of the state so this is what david silver in his famous uh, playlist youtube playlist shows this as an example and we observe a similar result in our case too so this is a td0 value estimate over episodes and you can see slowly how everything is initialized to zero and it starts rising and for e you can see a sudden rise so this is an animated gif of the td0 value estimates over the number of episodes that we have and in the end it is very similar to the true values that we have the estimated values using td0 so Thank you for watching this video and if you have any doubts regarding temporal difference learning or anything that you were not able to understand uh, you can just put it out in the comments thank you